In this video, I want to solve for the magnetic field from two wires for sort of an arbitrary point off axis. So here I have a uh, system of two wires, we'll call this the on the positive x-axis. I have one at a point of 0.2 meters from my origin and it has a current of 4 amps that's coming out of the screen at me. And then I have another wire here at 0.3 meters and it has a current of 5 amps and it's going into the screen. And I want to calculate the magnetic field at this point right here uh, which is at, at point, this red dot, which is at 0.1, 0.1 meters. Okay, um, and so we know that these are long straight wires, so we can use the relationship for, for long straight wires, which is mu naught over 4 pi times twice the current. D is the distance between the wire and the point where you want to calculate the magnetic field, and then the direction of the magnetic field is given by the right-hand rule, and so you, you point your... Uh, fingers in the direction of the current, fold them to the direction of the point you're interested in, and your thumb points in the direction. Now, to, to know the magnetic field from both of them, then we need to add the vectors together. So, how are we going to add the vectors together? So, so I might think about um, doing this uh, graphically using the right-hand rule, and if this were symmetric, I would absolutely do that. But but I do not have a symmetric system here. I, I'm not sure where these vectors are pointing, and so I'm I don't know for sure this is the fastest way to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, solve these using uh, unit vectors and vectors in component form. And so the the magnetic field then in this case sort of in a the uh, vector unit, a vector, sorry, the unit vector description, then the right hand rule is given by this L hat cross R hat. This is the unit vector pointing in the direction of the current, current direction, and this is the unit vector uh, from the wire that points from the wire to the point of interest. And so if I find these two unit vectors, then I can uh, go ahead and find the cross product of the unit vectors, and then that's the direction in which my magnetic field is pointing. All right, so let's take this approach. And the first one I'm, I'm going to do then is for uh, this the one over here. Actually, I'd get a different color than that. All right. And so if I'm looking at uh, this, the 4 amp current, then um, to, I know that, so, so the 4 amp current here. All right, I know that the um, L hat then is pointing in the, well, I guess I'd have to establish a coordinate system, don't I? So if we go back up here and we say this is plus X, we'll call up plus Y, that gives us plus z out of the page. So I know that the direction of the current, which is out of the screen here, then is equal to k hat. But what is uh, r hat? What direction is it pointing in? Okay, so if I have, I look at, to do that, I need the vector that points from the uh, the, uh, the, the call this the, the vector that points from the current to the place where I want to know the magnetic field. And once I have that vector, I can find the unit vector. So, so what is this vector? This, this vector for, say, the 4 amp current. I'll give it a subscript 4 to distinguish it from the other one. Well, this vector, it has a x component of negative 0.1 meters. That's that's here. The, so the x component is 0.1 in the the negative x direction, and then it has a positive, well, i hat, the 0.1 meter j hat component. Okay, and so that's easy enough since my components are the same. I know the magnitude of this vector, that's just 0 0.1 
times the square root of 2, take the magnitude of that. So then if I want to find the unit vector, which is the vector divided by its magnitude, then the, the point ones cancel, uh, point 0.1 meter, there's a meter there as well, point 0.1 meters cancel, and I get uh, negative 1 over the square root of 2 i hat plus 1 over the square root of 2 j hat. Okay. And so what do I think of then this, uh, this L cross R for? In fact, I, I think I could pretty much guess what that is because this is on the 45 degree angle. And so if I were to, to think carefully and go back to my picture, if this is coming at a 45 degree angle and then use the right hand rule, the uh, the L, which is in the direction of the current, and then I bend my uh, fingers along this R4, my thumb is going to point in that direction at a 45 degree angle down from the horizontal. And so I'm going to expect my, the, uh, the cross product, sorry, the, the cross product of these two things then to be um, essentially negative 1 over the square root of 2 i hat minus 1 over the square root of 2 j hat, the unit vector that's pointing in the third quadrant's got negative x and y coordinates. But sure, I might expect that because I've been doing this a while. Let's go ahead and calculate that just to make sure. So I want to calculate this cross product to come up with the direction for my vector. So calculate that cross product. I have i hat, j hat, k hat, and then the components of the uh, L unit vector are 0, uh, zero 1. It's pointing in the positive uh, uh, z-axis. And R4 I found to be um, negative 1 over the square root of 2, 1 over the square root of 2, and 0. So I calculate this, I start with uh, i hat, and then uh, 0 times 0, minus uh, 1 times the square root of 2, 1 times the square root of 2. And so then we have, uh, say, minus j hat, and then that's 0, 0, minus minus 1 over the square root of 2, so, and then uh, 4 plus, well, <laughs> plus k hat, we'll just do that quickly, which is 0, 0, 0 minus 0, okay. And then our, our final result then is minus 1 over the square root of 2 i hat, and now I have for here, I have three minus signs minus one over the square root of two j hat, which which is what I expected over here, and we get that by computing the cross product and making sure that we don't have any sign errors. Okay, so now we have the unit vector for the magnetic field from this wire, which is the tough part. Now we can calculate the the magnetic field, the magnitude of the magnetic field. Okay, so the magnitude of the magnetic field is mu naught over 4 pi to i over the distance, then I, I always do it, in, you may have seen this as mu naught over 2 pi times the current over the distance. I always keep my mu naught over 4 pi separate because I know that's exactly 10 to the minus 7, and so then this is 2 times the current, which for that one was 4, divided by the distance uh, squared, no, not distance squared, just distance for this, the square root of 2 times 0.1. And so if that's a magnitude, now I want the vector, so this is times the unit vector minus 1 over the square root of 2 i hat minus 1 over the square root of 2 j hat. All right, and so if we uh, simplify that through, we have uh, this 10 to the minus 7, and then the, um, I'm going to have 
minus two, the, the, the twos for each one, so we have eight over two times 0 0.1 negative i hat minus then eight two times 0 0.1 j hat, and then this is just 40 for each one, minus 40 i hat, minus 40 j hat. I'm just going to keep my 10 to the minus 7 out here so I don't have, uh, don't have to worry so much about all the scientific notation and everything else. So this is now the magnetic field contribution due to the, uh, the wire, the 4 amp wire this one. All right, so now let's take a look at the the contribution due to the 5 amp wire. All right, I've cleared some space on my screen so I can use my same picture. And so now I want to find uh, the direction and magnitude of this vector. So um, this is going to be the right-hand rule tells me that the, I'll do this, the, the magnetic field is coming off in a direction that looks like this, uh, but I'm going to use this vector expression and use my unit vectors like I did before, and it, because I already have the component form of the magnetic field due to the other wire, so I just want to find the component form uh, due to this wire. So let's go ahead, so this is the, the 5 amp wire, let's start by finding the position vector r that points from the wire to the a point of interest. This is, uh, I guess, this orange. That's this one right here. Okay, so it has a x component that looks like to be 0.4 meters in length. I'm going to stop writing m's everywhere. One, two, three, four. And then it has a y component that's also a positive 0.1 meters, so in the j hat direction. Okay, so I can calculate the magnitude of that vector, the square root of the sums of the squares, and that's 0.4123 meters. And putting that together, my unit vector then is equal to the vector divided by the magnitude, which is then uh, 0.17, uh, um, hold on, no, point nine seven oh two i hat plus point two four two five j hat so i'm just taking the vector divided by its magnitude now i have a unit vector pointing in the direction of the 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 vector between the the current and where i'm looking at okay so now the the um the this l vector which points in the direction of the current for the 5 amp wire is in the negative k hat direction. So now I want to go ahead and calculate L cross R hat. Well, I'll pull up my handy uh, determinant then. So L now is 0, 0, minus 1. And k is, I'll just put the rx, so I have to write all those, oh, you can't see that, all those, these four digits. So this is the rx component, ry component, and it has zero along the x. So what is this equal to? This is i hat times zero minus minus ry minus j hat which is 0 minus a minus r sub x. And so this is equal to then uh, r sub y i hat minus r sub x j hat. And my components r, y, and rx are both positive numbers, so my unit vector then is uh, point two four two five i hat minus point nine seven zero two j hat those are here my 
x and y components from that unit vector. All right, so I have my unit vector. I can now uh, calculate my magnetic field. My magnetic field is the magnitude, which is mu naught over 4 pi times 2 times the current, which is 5, divided by the distance, which I already calculated, at 0.4, point, yes, 0.4123 meters. That was from here. And then times uh, L cross, L hat cross R hat, which I just calculated, 0.2425 I hat minus 0.9702 to j hat. And now it's just a matter of, of putting it, running all that through the calculator. And I get a magnetic field of 5.882 i hat minus 25.531 j hat 10 to the minus 7. And though then my, the, my total so this is the magnetic field from 5. My total magnetic field is the sum of them together. Remember that, uh, so this plus the previous one was just negative 40 i hat minus 40 j hat, 10 to the minus 7. So adding those together, I get 5.8, uh, sorry, I'm just writing that again. I get negative. 34.1 i hat minus 65.5 j hat 10 to the minus 7. And so uh, does this make sense? Yes, I've got two um, their magnetic fields mostly in the uh, negative y axis, but this this one has a stronger magnetic field, so its larger negative x component cancels the positive uh, the positive component x component from the other one. So the resultant has both negative and y components. Okay, so this is a calculation of magnetic field from two wires off axis using the component form of the magnetic field. You can also use just use the right hand rule and do it geometrically, but it's also good practice to to be able to use unit vectors, calculate them, and to be able to evaluate their cross products.